In Isaiah chapter 5, we have a parable of a vineyard that produces wild grapes. Despite all the care and the work of the owner, the vineyard, well, it's just not producing that which is healthy and edible. And there's some imagery here that describes Israel as the vineyard and the owner, well, it's the Lord himself. And as you read chapter five of Isaiah, we see that the Lord is the true vine. He gives us all we need to grow and to flourish under his care, to bear good fruit, to be useful and a blessing in his kingdom and in our world. But many people, obviously Israel at this time, reject God's care, his instructions, and the end result is the fruit. Well, it's wild, it's, you can't eat it. Listen to these verses, verses 11 and 12. Woe to those who rise early in the morning, that they may follow intoxicating drink, who continue until night till wine inflames them, the harp and the strings and the tambourine and the flute, and wine in their feasts, and they do not regard the work of the Lord, nor consider the operation of his hands. Well, their life is like a wild party. We choose. God has a plan and a path for your life, for mine, that produces good fruit, but the enemy also has a plan that produces fruit that is wild and leads to destruction. So here in our chapter, Isaiah chapter five, let this chapter remind us that Jesus is the true vine, and if we abide in him, will bear much fruit, fruit that honors him, that enriches our lives and all those around us. Isaiah chapter five is a very interesting passage of scripture where God says, I planted a vineyard, I cared for it, I kept it, but the vineyard produced wild grapes, fruit that was not edible and fruit was, that was not productive for anyone. And God, well, he cares for us. He is the vine, we are the branches, and he desires that you and I produce much fruit, good fruit for ourselves, for him, and that it might impact those around us. Chapter five of Isaiah, a great parable about the vineyard of the Lord.